And it's also been leaning to reading the next for those guests that have a confirmed seat number 912. We do invite you to have your presence here at gate 81. Thank you. Japanese omotenashi is very much part of Japanese culture and tradition. In many ways, it's hence very different from Western style hospitality. In Japanese, um, omotenashi, which is the term we use to refer to Japanese hospitality, we think of the, the appropriate distance between the host and guest. We do not become too casual. We try to be a little bit more reserved there is a certain sort of ritualistic element in omotenashi as well. Even for very simple gestures, the way we, we present things, the way we explain things, we do it in a way that's not just polite, but something that's also visually uh, very natural and also something that, that really looks very good um, in, in body movements as well. We express our welcoming and appreciation to passengers through gestures. The spirits of Japan Omotenashi is originated in the tea ceremony. It's called Chado. When we serve something, we keep an eye contact to the passenger in order of eye, object, eye. And we tell trainees not to forget the last eye contact. This is a uh, Japanese hospitality. As Chao, we have the privilege and also the responsibility to continue providing services to our diverse groups of treasured guests. Enabling travel to every one of our customers is our mission as an airline. We have created travel experiences for those with disabilities or with special needs. We are hoping that they would be able to get their stress and to travel as they have desired. We put ourselves in our customers' shoes and tailor their travel journey by using the sensibility of Japanese hospitality. Pets are part of our precious families too. In normal flights, there are some customers who wouldn't prefer those pets on cabin. But in this program, they were able to socialize with those other customers who loved their pets and wanted to fly together. Jal believes that those pets deserve their own loyalty points, as same as the human customers. This is another way for us to aim above and beyond to make travel a delight. With the evolution of technology, convenience is becoming a standard across the world, but the foundation on which technology is adopted at Jal is through the concept of uh, Japanese hospitality. We value the concept of design thinking, which observes customers' thoughts and actions, and develops services based on insights obtained from truly understanding our guests. Through design thinking, we created a version of Smart Airport, which will be reopened in summer of 2020 during the Olympics. The Smart Airport prototype was conceptualized at Charles Innovation Lab, reflecting thousands of customers' actual voices. Through technology, we aim to create a more stress-free and seamless travel experience from the perspective of our staff and valued customers. Another innovation project that aims to revolutionize the lives of our customers and our staff is the development of the avatar robot called JET. JET allows our staff uh, working in a remote environment to provide our customer support and hospitality through integration of technology. This provides convenience to our customers and allows our staff on special leave, such as nursing and child care, to fulfill their role as host and guest remotely. 
we understand that um, people who travel, especially long distance, we need to actually maintain a certain level of comfort, providing luxury at the front part of the aircraft from first class and business class. But we focus also at the same time on the back of the aircraft to make sure that we provide the highest level of comfort for our economy class passengers. Travel promotes well-being in several ways. There is the, the physical wellness element. Travelling, you're feeling the comfort, uh, you're seeing something new for the first time, you have the stimulation, this excitement, and all these promote physical well-being. But there's at the same time also a social well-being element. Things like family bonding, spending time with your family, or building a relationship with your loved ones. We, Japan Airlines, are positioning ourselves in working more towards creating positive impact in, in travel. This comes from our own initiatives in, for example, battling CO2 emission, climate change, in reducing waste, in trying to achieve many of the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs. Most companies are currently in the phase of going through digital transformation and that's really trying to use data to make operations more efficient. The second part of the technology side is really thinking of um, new modes of transport. How can we link um, air travel to trains and buses and think of mobility as a service? We are excited to enhance the travel experiences by sharing the Japanese hospitality with the world to make it more inclusive and more accessible for everyone. Bring in new technologies in finding ways to innovate customer experience. And of course, with the, the 2020 Olympics uh, approaching very soon, we would just like to welcome everyone um, to Japan and also to JL.